We had an ARCA Permatex 500 kilometer race here on this racetrack yesterday. Uh, ARCA competitors. And at the very beginning of that race, Jerry Churchill dropped to the bottom of the racetrack with a, a blown engine. And that was an indication, actually it wasn't a blown engine, but a mechanical problem. And that was the first of many incidents that gave us concern in that ARCA race yesterday. The ARCA drivers have shown marked improvement on the super speedways in recent years, but this race would not be without one major incident, which really wasn't the fault of any driver or group of drivers. It was similar to the situation we just saw here in the front stretch. There's Dave Fletcher on the inside and Red Farmer on the outside. And then a flip in the trioval as Billy Simmons' car got upside down, the number 17 machine. It landed in the entrance to the pit area. But fortunately, Billy Simmons uh, climbed out of that car. It was a little bit dusty. In fact, it looked sort of like a chimney sweep after that accident, but he was completely uninjured and walked away from the crash. Summer has come early to Alabama. There is Sergeant Charlie Glotzbeck. Yes, the same one who once held the Alabama International Motor Speedway one lap track record, the white car there on the low side. Sergeant Charlie Glotzbeck has come out of Indiana where he has been running dirt track cars the past three or four seasons says, gee, maybe I'd like to do this again. Has he lost anything? No. There he goes by Grant Adcox, who came into this race having won two in a row for ARCA here at Talladega. And then a holocaust in the pit area. While trying to review the Bill Scott car, a fire broke out. And one of the crew members, whose name is Harry Rommel from Nashville, Tennessee, was burned rather extensively. He is suffering second and third degree burns. Third degree burns on 5% of his body. He's in the University of Alabama Burn Center. Caraway Methodist Hospital, and we wish him the best. Jeff Bodine saw this occurring and came down as a former volunteer fireman. He pretty much knew what to do, gathered a fire extinguisher, and started to extinguish the flames. That's Rommel being airlifted to the uh, burn center as the race got underway once again. A number of people appear to be candidates, certainly most notably Glotzbach. Uh, Adcox was right in there. He was certainly a candidate. At this point, Glotzbach had pitted before many of the other top contenders. We didn't know exactly why. Uh, Jeff Hammond told me later he was crewing that car, as a matter of fact, yesterday. He didn't. He thought maybe they missed something. He didn't understand why everybody did not pit. There's Adcox making his move. And then as they came around turn number three, we have just had a restart. The field is tightly bunched. And then, watch this. 14 cars pile up, 10 of them unable to compete in the race any further. There you can see the melee down there in turn number four. A fire breaking out in the Tracy Reed car, but it extinguishes itself quickly. But there was a lot of damaged material down there. No driver injuries, however. And then the finish, Grant Adcox was able to pull away from Charlie Glotz back in the closing stages. And Grant Adcox won his third consecutive ARCA race here at Talladega tying a record set by Davey Allison in ARCA competition and Buddy Baker in Winston Cup competition. He did make it look easy. The top five finishers in that race, Glotzbach was second, Red Farmer was third, Bobby Waywack fourth, and Dave Fletcher finished in fifth position. Might add that all five of those people had strong races. There was nobody in that group that backed into position. All of them looked like they were a threat to win.